now it's time to talk to the man, Coach Will Wade, fresh off the big dub Tuesday night, beating Kentucky in the PMAC, which we're making a bigger deal about than Coach Wade would probably want us to, uh, as as we'll kind of get into. Uh, but Coach Wade, thank you so much for for waking up with us this morning. How we doing, guys? Uh, we're doing great. We're doing great. Look, before you look forward, I do want to look back real quick and talk about the Kentucky game a bit. And I want to start with what you laid out before the game, right? It was going to come down to the battle on the boards. Kentucky was leading the nation, grabbing 17 more boards than anybody they played, right, on average. And uh, y'all kept it tied, dead even. That's a huge win. How were you able to stop one of the nation's top rebounding teams? Well, the first thing we were able to do is keep ourselves out of rotation on defense. So if you can stay out of rotation, you got a better chance to to stay between um, you know stay between them and the basket. And uh, we did a better job of uh, we better did a better job of that. And then we you know we were physical. We 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 uh, you know we boxed out hard. We did a good job on Oscar. He split us on our post trap one time in yeah. the first half and got two offensive rebounds on that and just put it back in. But for the most part, we did a good job on him. You know, when he got his second foul, he set, so it was a little bit easier for us in the in the first half when, with him with him sitting on the bench. But it was, um, you know, it was a team effort. I thought our guys had it front of mind, and when it's front of mind, they were able to um, able to execute. And coach, you talked about the atmosphere that y'all faced against Auburn, and these young players never really having to do that because you didn't have fans like you have this year, last year, and I didn't get a chance to be in the building because I was at the Texas Bowl, but I, I can't tell you, I told you last night, like everybody in the press box was watching the game. There was people on LSU sidelines who had their phones out pregame watching this game. Everyone at the Texas Bowl was even excited about this, but what did the atmosphere inside the PMAC do for you and your team? I mean, it was great. It was obviously a, a huge night with uh, with the court naming and everything else that was going on. Anytime you play uh, Kentucky, they're the, they're the standard bearer in the league. They're the you know, they're the team everybody, uh, you know, everybody's uh, gunning for. And so I thought the I thought the energy was great. I thought this, the student section was really good, particularly for for uh, for classes not being uh, for classes not being in session. And I thought uh, I thought the fans did a did a great job when 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 Penson dunked that ball at the end. That's about oh. as loud as, as as I've heard it since I've been here. I'm sure, hey, sure well, it's been louder in the past, but it was. That was about as loud as I've heard it since I've been here. Yeah, and and, and look, uh, if you're listening, look, again, what we said when you go to the game, let's just get a little more uh, during the play noise going. But uh, the environment is just getting better, better, better. Coach, you mentioned it. What's your reaction as a coach when you're up three and uh, Pinson goes for the 360 dunk to end it? Oh, you better make it. (laughs) Uh, 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 You know, I was more worried that, you know, um, you know, we talk about that six-minute game. From about the six-minute mark to the 235 mark, we were up seven to nothing. Then we missed two free throws, went turnover, 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 then dunk, dunk. So, you know, we've got to we've got to clean up that stuff with the turnovers late in the game. We got to clean up the turnovers, period. But we've we've certainly got to clean up the turnovers uh, late in the game. We got to be able to um, get back and 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 make our free throws and, and do a little bit do a little bit better job uh, cashing in some opportunities. At the free throw line, we're still, you know, tops in the SEC in free throw shooting. But our last five games, we've only been shooting sixty-three percent. Our last three games, we've only been shooting fifty-seven percent uh, mm. from the free throw line. So we've got to, um, you know, we've just got it. We've, we've we've got to cash in when you're not making a bunch of shots like we do. You've got we got it. We got to get some of the easy ones at the free throw line. We've got to we got to get back to knocking in 70, 80, 75, 80 percent of those. Talking to Coach Will Wade, else you had basketball coach, and uh, Coach, you've, I've interviewed you for years. You know this about me, right? Like, I don't, I, I struggle to see under the layers of basketball because I didn't play the sport at a high level, and I haven't coached it at a high level. And so I'm like, oh, look at that! That was a sick play. That was a three six dunk. But like, with Kellen Grady in that second half, so he starts 0 six, then he hits four in a row. Kentucky's got all the momentum in the world, and then after that. It was like you would have needed, like, uh, I mean, you needed to file a missing persons report. Like, he was nowhere to be found. Was it a technical adjustment, something y'all were doing strategy-wise? Was it an effort thing? Like, how were you able to 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 just put the brakes on that? And then all of a sudden, they scored two points over 10 minutes. Well, a little bit, a little bit of all of the above. Um, so, like, the first half, 
they were screening and slipping the screens back with the four man to try to catch the ball at the elbows and play out of the elbows. Well, the second half, they basically, you know, the only really thing you can do against the switching defense is you screen your own man because that man's the one who's supposed to switch out onto the other guy. So they screen their own man uh, a couple times. And uh, I know I know they want to talk about, uh, you know, Efton's screen, which was perfectly legal, yeah. uh, potentially being a legal screen. You should see some of their... You should see some of their screen their own man screens if you want to see an illegal screen. But uh, anyway, they screened their own man, and it messed up our, 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 our switching, and so that was part of it. So that's the technical part of it. We got whip baseline a couple times, so anytime you get whip baseline, our rotations were a little bit late. We didn't meet them outside the red zone. We let them get too deep, which opened up that hammer pass to the backside. Um, so that was the, that was kind of the technical part of it. That goes to, you know, we were on our heels. We weren't as aggressive. We weren't pressuring they were playing too much in a scoring area and they were way too comfortable uh against what we were uh against what we were doing so then you know we had to crank it up you put eric Gaines in there and he you know he can certainly crank up some pressure and, and make some things happen i mean dude that dude has like viper like hands they're so fast when, when they strike uh coach that 22 run for like, like like i mentioned from 12 minutes to two minutes kentucky scores two points at the most important part of the game is that the best stretch of defensive basketball that y'all have had this year? It was good. We rebounded the ball pretty well on that stretch. I mean, we were we were solid. We've had some we've had some really really uh, you know dominant stretches, but that was probably as dominant of a stretch as we've had against a, a quality uh, a quality opponent. So it was a it was it was very uh, it was very good for us. All right, coach. Now, obviously, no rest. We've talked about the SEC and kind of the depth of the conference. You get Tennessee, but obviously back in. The PMAC coming up in a couple of days. It's a 10-3 and basketball team. They've got a top-five Arizona win under their belt, even their losses against very tough competition. So kind of give us a preview of what Tennessee is going to bring to the PMAC. Well, I mean, they're the, they're the number two defense in the country. Um, so, you know, they, they really, really guard. They're physical. They're big. They play two big guys pretty much at all times. Um, you know, the real difference is they're shooting the ball better. They're shooting a lot more threes. Uh, this year than they have in the in, in, in the past. They're 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 a lot more. Um, you know, they got a lot more freedom on offense. They're not running kind of the pure motion that they've run. They're they're running more ball screens and trying to trying to get downhill and create rotation to penetrate and pitch for three. But they're still the same great defensive team. They had 17 steals last night on 27 Ole Miss turnovers. So they can turn you over. They try to speed you up with their on ball pressure. And so we've got to. We've got to be poised. We've got to we've got to play with great pace. We've got to play with great poise, and um, and you know we've we've got to be able to rebound. They're very good on the offensive glass. They're extremely 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 physical, and so we've got to, we've got to do a good job on the glass, blocking out. You know, being able to being able to limit them to uh, to uh, to one shot. Coach, it was uh, it was interesting the other night. It didn't feel like the three was falling for y'all, but then you look up after the game. I mean, thirty nine percent from beyond the arc, like that's right at forty, right? That, that, that that's great. What do you what are your feelings on the current like state of the offense, the perimeter shooting, and what do you want to see change? Uh, the number one thing to pick. I mean, look, the perimeter shooting is what it is, and we're not as bad as we've been shooting it. We just we take some tough ones, and we're gonna we're gonna continue to try to correct that. Our bigger issue, off, we got two way bigger issues in our perimeter shooting on offense. Uh, number one is turning the ball over. We've yeah. got to value the ball. If we would just cut our turnovers, I'd like to turn over 10 or less times. If we could turn over 12 or less times, we could cut our turnovers by four. We would improve probably 40 spots on offense. Damn. That's our number one issue. Our number two issue is we're taking the same amount of rim shots, actually a few more than we've taken in the past. We've taken a ton of rim shots in the past. That's where kind of our bread's been buttered. We're making them at 8% less. We don't finish twos. Mm. We don't finish easy twos more specifically. And so that's our, those are much bigger problems than, than the threes. Um, and so we, we've got to get the turnovers under control, and we've got to, we got to finish in the paint. And th- those, to me, are a lot more correctable, rely a lot less on luck, <laughs> rely a lot less on 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 all sorts of stuff but we've been very very good at just bludgeoning people at the rim uh by either finishing getting fouled or getting fouled and finishing 
uh, which is preferable. So those to me are the two big, much bigger issues um, on offense that we're going to start uh, correcting here at nine o'clock this morning. <laughs> oh, no. hey, coach, I'm, I'm always no. curious. So like in football, if I fumbled the football, it didn't matter like what level it's like, take a lap, like just go ahead, take a lap, run around all four football fields and don't come back until you've got the ball high and tight. And if you fumble again, like you're out, you're out of practice. And in a game, like if you fumble, like go ahead and just go sit on the bench. So when you talk about turnovers in basketball, what are some of the things that you can try to do to try to clean some of that up? Well, I mean, we run after every turnover in practice. Um, if you turn it over, you just go run. So there's there's some uh, there's some car- there's some carryover there yeah. with football, Jacob. Uh, but uh, I mean, look, we've just got to be we've, we've got to be cleaner with the ball. We're just making some. There's basically three reads you have to make and we're just we're, we're not reading it right yep. and we're trying to do too much and 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 you know um you know we're gonna we're gonna go through that today you know multiple times and just try to get try to get it you know we just got to make simple plays and a lot of it comes from trying to do too much and trying to be too pretty and trying to trying to you know we just got to make make simple simple uh plays and if we can do that We'll be, uh, you know, we'll be a lot better off with the turnovers and just run a lot cleaner offense in general. Coach, I know after the game you talked about this, but it was kind of like raising the level of expectation, right? I mean, here, here you sit, you've been the winningest team in the SEC for the last three years, and you were kind of taking the tag, like, look, yeah, it's a good win, but like, you want to, you know, if you want to fight for an SEC championship, like, you have to win these home games. Uh, how is uh, obviously that, that that applies to this Saturday? Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, that's what you want to do. You got to be in, you know, everybody around here. Somebody told me last night, man, I thought we were going to storm the court. I'm like, I'm glad we didn't. Like, I mean, we're yeah. a top 25 team, too. Yeah. It's not like we just pulled some massive upset off. I mean, like, like let's let's have some perspective here. And I think, you know, I think everybody loses perspective a little bit. But, um, you know, look, we've, we've been really good. We, you, you, you need to win at home. Uh, we should expect to win at home. And, and, and yeah, this Saturday's the, same type deal. You got another top twenty-five team coming in here. It's a top twenty-five showdown. I think this is the first time in our history we've started off with three ranked teams wow. on our schedule, and so you know it's it's certainly um, certainly going to be another challenging game, a really really uh, a really really tough game. And, and Tennessee's great, and they're they're extremely well coached, and they play extremely hard. But um, yeah, I mean we're not we're, we're not the sisters of the poor. <laughs> don't throw us, you know. Don't throw us a bake sale. We'll be all right. So, Hell you know, yeah, it's, dude. It's, Hell yeah. Um, you know, we got we got to you know we got to got to we got to act the part. Like that's you know like I told our people like I don't want white out, gold out, none of that BS. Like that's what I, I, know, I shouldn't say this. I know that's what the women are doing now, but that's what teams, <laughs> that's what but that's what teams on the come up try to do. All yes, that right. stuff. Yes, great point. I yeah. mean, that, it's the truth. I tell our guys that all the time. They they. Uh, Yo, what, what what about alternative uniforms and all that? We got the golds and all that. And they always want to wear the gold. I said, well, Alabama football wears the same crap every week and lines up and kicks your tail. Yeah. I said they don't. They're not worried about all that stupid stuff. They just line up and beat you. And you know that's what we need. You know that's what that's what we need to do. We don't need to worry about all that stuff. Show up, be who we are, and let's win. Hell yeah, man! Boot up. Sorry, you got me. You got me started on one of my rants. No, no I, I, I look, yeah. man. I mean, I love it on this side. You get me? I mean, people love it too, coach. That's and that's but why you, you gotta should be go- who you are. It's like I told our guys before the game. It's a simple game. They gave me these really nice new shoes before the game. I got these nice new Jordans that they wanted. These everybody wanted me to wear, including our players. I said, like, guys, I can't tell y'all this is any other game. Then I show up in these Air Jordans. I'm gonna wear my normal standard issue shoes I wear every game. Yep. Like Hell I'm not yeah. doing that. Like we can't, we can't do that. Like that's not what this is about. This is about showing up, being who we are. Normal game. Let's rock and roll. Wow. And everybody wants to make stuff into more than it is. You got to be who you are. Too boy, I'm getting fired up right now, dude. Okay, so that is why you need to get out yeah. to the PMAC this Saturday for that top 25 showdown, 5 p.m. It's going down, and that's also why you should go show up at Walk-Ons for Will Wade Unfiltered coming up here, the first one uh, a week from today. Coach, thanks so much, man. Thanks, guys. Good up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.